Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the biological approach to treating OCD. So make sure you've watched the biological approach to explaining OCD before you watch this video in order to help you understand this. We're going to be looking at how SSRIs work at a biological level and how they're used to treat OCD. So it's really important here that you have a good understanding of neurons and neurotransmitters and synaptic transmission. If you don't, it might be worth reviewing this before watching the rest of the video. So we're looking at SSRIs, which are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. So if we break that down, they're selectively choosing serotonin. So they work solely on the neurotransmitter, which is serotonin, and they block the reuptake of serotonin. And that means they stop serotonin being taken back in or reuptaken by the original neuron that released it. And we know that these are important in OCD because there are really low levels of serotonin in people who have OCD. SSRIs are generally used to treat depression, but they're also used here to treat OCD. So what happens is you can see that um, serotonin is being held in these vesicles. And when there is enough energy that has been built up in the neuron, the serotonin is released into the synaptic gap. And they are, the serotonin is gathered up by the receptors on the other side of the next neuron. So in people who don't have OCD, there is enough energy and this, the receptors are working effectively to grab the neurotransmitters and pass them on. The receptors kind of work in a way like hungry hippos. They grasp the neurotransmitters and take them in to the neuron. So that's how synaptic transmission works generally. But in terms of SSRIs, the SSRIs are here. These represent the SSRIs. And they stop serotonin being reuptaken. And what that means is in a normal person, some serotonin might be left over and has not been absorbed by the postsynaptic neuron and instead is reabsorbed by the original neuron to be used at a later date. In people with OCD, there, there isn't always enough energy or the receptors aren't working effectively to pass the neuro, to pass the neurotransmitter serotonin from one neuron to another. So it needs a bit more time. So SSRIs work by basically building a little wall to prevent the reuptake of serotonin so that serotonin is floating around in the synapse for longer so more of it can be reabsorbed. If you imagine this like a little wall and it's stopping any serotonin going back in once it's been released. So I'll go over that one more time. The SSRIs work by creating a wall that prevents serotonin from being reuptaken into the original neuron. And therefore the serotonin has more chance to be absorbed by the postsynaptic nerves ending. So that's one type of drug that can be used. A second type of drug is an anti-anxiety drug. These are benzodiazepines and they're used to reduce anxiety and it works by the benzodiazepines slowing the activity of the central nervous system. And in order to slow the central nervous system down, so to calm it down, we use GABA. And GABA enhances the activity. It, sorry, GABA is um, a neurotransmitter that when released reduces the amount of firing in the brain. So if you imagine that when you're when you're very nervous, you feel like your whole body is like shaking and like there's lots going on and you're very like everything's very engaged. And GABA is released to calm that feeling down so you don't feel like everything is whizzing around in your head anymore. And that reduces your anxiety. 
And what happens is this works by the GABA receptors on the postsynaptic neuron grabbing the GABA itself and this releases lots of chloride ions into the neuron. And this makes it harder. The chloride ions reduce the activity and slow down the activity of the neurons so that less firing is taking place and the person can feel more relaxed. So I'll go over that one more time. Benzodiazepines slow the activity of the central nervous system by enhancing the activity of GABA and the role of GABA is to reduce the amount of firing and interactions that are going on between neurons to calm you down and this works by the GABA receptors on one side because remember each receptor is specific to certain neurotransmitters so there's a serotonin receptor there's a GABA receptor there's a dopamine receptor so in this case the GABA receptors grab onto the GABA and the GABA releases chloride ions into the neuron, calming the neuron down so that there is less firing and therefore the person feels more relaxed. So, evaluating drug therapies. So, a problem is that a significant minority of users of SSRI don't actually get any benefit from taking it. It makes no difference to them. And also some other patients or equally these patients might experience some side effects. Um, and these can range and real like, like there's a real range of these. Um, some a lot of people will experience, for example, headaches but also, or insomnia, but some people will also experience things like blurred vision and a loss of sex drive. Um, and so there are many side effects to this, which means it's not always useful to take it if you're having such bad side effects. However, there is, effect, there is evidence to show that they do work. When SSRIs are used against a placebo drug, they show that there is an effect on the SSRIs and not an effect for the placebo showing that they do work to reduce symptoms. Some psychologists have argued that drug therapies are not a lasting cure. I, Although they are useful at the time whilst you're taking them, as soon as you stop taking them, people often relapse and they don't feel good anymore. So it's only help, it's only like a short term cure because it's not really curing you, it's just treating you. Um, but drug therapies are, tr are cheap, so that's a econ positive economic implication. It's good value for anyone to be given drugs because they are because they're so widely distributed now, um, anti-anxiety and antidepressant drugs that they work quite effectively. Um, so it's cheaper for the NHS, saving our like government money, and that's always a positive, I guess. Hopefully, that was helpful.